Okay, folks, now what we're going to go over is the installer configuration. Our technician uh, might have set some of these for you already, but if that's not the case or you'd like to know a little bit about the installer configuration, just hit the menu key and then for three seconds hold down installer configuration key and you'll have the uh, relative humidity, which uh, we have some instructions there on another video here on YouTube, but you can also hit this down arrow and we're going to hit it twice till we get to UV lamp maintenance like you see here and what we have here is how many days now uh, we normally recommend every 18 months you replace your UV light on there uh, which is approximately 550 days so you can set the uh, reminder maintenance to 550 days or 525 days because they do go in 25 day increments you can set it at 550 days and then if you want to go into your filter for instance in this house they have the high flow high flow five inch media filter so once we get to filter maintenance you can set the hours and the reason why on UV light you have days is because that light is on all the time and for the filter purposes the filter will not accumulate debris unless it's running so we want it to be replaced every 1975 hours which is roughly about every year because uh, we're talking about almost 2000 runtime hours by then it should be ready to be replaced so we put 1975 on this 550 on the UV light and we can also go into beeper so if you don't want that beeping noise you hear that you can turn that off if you'd like you can also go down on this arrow and you can do other functions to it as well so when you get to the BL that stands for backlight you see here it's on I can set my backlight to be off if I never want the backlight on it's nice and, and blue when it's on, but if you hit off, it'll, it won't be blue. It will just be the regular screen color, which is uh, like a dark green. But it'll still turn blue once you touch the display. So it's up to you at this point. You can set it on or off. But you have all these installer configurations, and I do recommend that you look at the uh, manual that was given to you to get uh, more information on that. Anyway, once you're done with all these changes, you hit Run Schedule, and it will accept the changes.